Hello and welcome to Mind and Money Show, where we talk all things mindset, money management and our entrepreneurial journey. Along the way, we're going to throw in some amazing guests for good measure. I'm Shane Highland. I'm Gareth Shears. This show is going to change your life and teach you skills that school never taught you. Boom. Happy New Year yet. When is it acceptable? I was out the weekend and two people said, Hi Shane, Happy New Year. And I stopped them in their tracks and got no. So the what's acceptable supposedly is, if you haven't seen someone, the first time you see them, right? Oh, I'll carry on this in a second. The first time you see them in the new year, you can you say Happy New Year to them. What if you don't see them until November? Well, I didn't say Happy New Year somewhere in November. A friend of mine is coming over from Ireland. It's the first time he, he, him and his wife have been, and his children have been over in eight years. Oh, she's got to see eight Happy New Year. So they're yeah. going to see me in February. Oh, what do I say? I meet them in Bristol Airport and, and it's the tw- 17th of February and I go Happy New Year. They've got no, a section. I, I, I think this week is acceptable no, to stop it. No, no. So to stop it. Shouldn't even meet this week. All right, bother look. Shouldn't. No. Like anyway, well, in, in the comments, let us know when you think it's acceptable to uh, to stop saying Happy New Year. Sh- Shane and stop on the 2nd of January. Technically, yeah. M- maybe the, the 3rd of January, because you usually get two two days of bank holiday. But no, you don't need to Not in this country out. anymore. You get eight, eight days of bank yeah, holidays, don't you? Yeah, then, then they'll, uh, they'll knock on a strike onto the back of it. Any more bank holidays can be out there, yeah. Anyway, it's been very British. We talk about the weather as well, won't we, that? Do you know? Um, Very British affair, isn't it? We we uh, we chatted about this. It's in uh, a podcast we recorded earlier today. I am twenty years in Cardiff today. Wow, twenty years. Twenty years. So a big thank you to Eamon. Did Mark Drakeford send you anything? <laughs> a big thank you to Eamon who brought me from my little village in Barron Robe to Athlone Is that in a car. No, Eamon Murray. Oh. Um, and then my other friend, Benny, collected me in a pub after I had about five pints. I could have drink back then. And he brought me from the middle of Ireland, a place called Athlone, up to Dublin Airport, flew into Bristol and uh, came over here for a few months. A few months? A few months. <laughs> I dragged on a few moments, didn't it? It hasn't um, gone too bad. It was all, it's, been, it's been a quick... Tw- it's been a very quick 20 years. Do you know when, when you talk... To people in the in our real jobs of financial planning and that and you go you know plan for the future and it's going to be quick don't like and a day older before thir- don't like a day older than 30 maybe either came over when you're 10 right here's one for you at what stage do you become and you're going to say well if you're you know, a resident <laughs> just because you're you know it doesn't Domicile. mean you're a donkey if you're born in a, in a stable at what stage do you become you don't part say. of the f- furniture? Because in a few years, I will be longer living here than well, I will over well, there. three years, as long as you hadn't represented Ireland at international level for rugby, you probably could have played for Wales after three years of being here. I think up until last November. And bear in mind, I've never played rugby. I could have played rugby for Wales up to November. Probably play now. Gannon will probably have you. Seeing how much stock left to choose from, is he? I can an Achilles injury if anyone no, wants to. Oh, no. No. Have, we, have we done that? Is that a bit like New Year? <laughs> anyway, he did. doesn't mention it when we meet people. <laughs> oh, you do actually you did it recently. Yeah, you do. There was there was did a guy in the gym, it? Jerome. He's a he's a uh, sports a, f- football agent. And we're chat- I got introduced to him last week, and um, I mentioned it to him. He looked as peed off and as disinterested in it as everyone else does anymore. But after three years, I get that. Anyways, the sixteenth of January is not the most important date in the calendar this year. Neither is the 5th of February. The day... It's the 5th of Feb. 4th of Feb. It's the day the number one ranked rugby team in the world come over to these shores and start the Six Nations. I think it's... Pressure's on you, though. Pressure's on you. We're the first game of the day. I don't know if it's the 5th. Is it the 5th? I don't know. Uh, it is January. It's the 3rd of February. No, it's the 4th, sorry. 4th. 4th of February. 
at the home of Welsh rugby. Home Welsh rugby. Well, do you know what? Prince Stadium. Yeah, if if you need to go and have a few Price warm up games, you, we have to have a few warm up games in advance of of the World Cup. So you know, it's good to come over here and. Um, I think I think it's going to be an interesting result that day. I think. I don't care. We're not tar- we're not targeting a small tournament like the Six Nations this year. Can't say that. I never had coaches say that. <laughs> Sure, it's in their plan to try and win it. If anything, no, could be a coin no, for Irish rugby. No, we are we are going all guns blazing to try and make at least the semi final this year of the World Cup. Wow, well, something well, we've never first, achieved. Right? Yeah, it would be a first. Yeah. Never achieved before. What would you would you mind if we won the World Cup? Would Welsh people actually? Mind? Oh no, not at all. No, 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 no. That but you don't fine. want the other crowd to win it. With English. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I ain't got a problem with that. I think if anyone from UK shores wins it, I'd be happy with that. You know, this thing's supposed to be about money. That Eddie Jones got a new job in Australia today. Brilliant, isn't it? It just goes in the world of sport. You don't have Did to the be successful. You called that, didn't they? Did you yeah. want to listen to their podcast? You don't have to be successful, Bill Sweet, to get a new job. In fact, the they sacked that- the coach. Did they to bring him in? And you know what'll happen now, though, don't you? win the World Cup on the Australia and England be like should have stuck with him probably should have read anyways getting back neither the 16th of January or the 4th of February is an important day in the calendar this year so what is an important day then I can't bloody remember the date the 8th of February 8th of February yeah I think it's I think it's a Wednesday what's happening on that day Uh, I think you've got a meeting early in the morning uh, about 6 o'clock have I oh yeah I have yeah we will be launching. Excuse the stripe through the middle, but that's because it's a uh, it's a proof, co- copy, proof from copy Amazon. It's 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 a book. It is a book. See, it's actually it's actually a word inside. No dot to dot. No pictures. No pictures. We should have put some pictures in it. I'm good with pictures. I, I, yeah, that's what's missing. Font would be a bit bigger as well when it goes live. It will bigger be slightly thing. bigger because this is um I think this is V one, isn't it? Um, and there's been. Unlike you, unlike yours, mine has quite a lot of red inside it, so we have to make a few alterations. Well, it, Do you know? Have you got the same feedback as me when I've told people? Uh, yeah, I've just well, written. After a, they stop laughing, you mean? I've just written a book. <laughs> Joking. And it's like the blood is drained from them. What you've actually managed to write a book, and I'm not sure if they think. Once you I'm, show them it, they're like Ooh, that un- you have unintelligent a book. or. You know, if they always thought I was stupid, or if they didn't think I had the the time to write it, or I think people are very all interested. of those things. Yeah, are very interested to see what's inside it. So it's called Influences, and it's the four pillar playbook, aligning your financial actions to your lifestyle goals. Written by us, surprisingly. It's actually it's our names. Actually, are, actually, our names are on the on the spine as well. It's it's actually an interesting read. I've read it about you know eight dozen times now. I should hope you have. And I'm and I'm sure somebody's going to read it and pick up a spelling mistake. As for the grammatical error, I don't really care because you know that's not my my forte. But it does the it is about money but it's technically not a boring thing it does a few um stories in there there's a few good yeah it's written in a, it's, it's written in a quite less than serious manner i guess but it's about money and about how our behaviors to money need to be changed and actually about a lot of the things we were never taught in school about money so there's a lot to do in that but that's this is the first of many to come this is our first venture into it so it's uh, been a, a labour of love, as they call it. Even though this one is not finished, the second one has been um, drafted. Yeah, granted, very slowly. You know, I think we've decided it's less than two hundred pages. The first one, the second one, but now it'll create, I suppose, new money habits. Hopefully, um, create or an understanding of how to have healthy relationships with money. Um, hopefully, in some format, help you align or understand how you align spending with with happiness and yeah. and. I suppose most importantly, see money or finances differently. It's not going to be something that will give you all the answers, um, but there should be a lot of light bulb moments in yeah. there to maybe kickstart you on a, a journey you didn't know you needed to go on, but that you will be able to, to go on. But even for people who you kind of know, you think maybe need a bit of a, you know, sort of your, your, your teenage kids or your... 
Um, anyone you can know maybe needs some help with some money, you know, maybe it's a member of staff or someone like that. But it's it's going to be good. It's going to be available on Amazon. Here we're going to be running the competition and be giving away some free ones as well. But if there's a link in the the notes below to register for early notification of the book coming out. Do you know when you say on social media those um those competitions, what colour is the red car? <laughs> red, <laughs> blue, yellow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there'll be but there'll be it, it's gonna be available, it's gonna be on Amazon, so it'll be available in initially in Kindle and paperback. And we are gonna do the audio version of it, so you will have to you listen to our dulcet tones, or mine at least anyway, because he doesn't want to do it. Nobody, nobody wants to listen. It's we, bad enough they have to see me, but Christ, if they have to go stick their headphones in and listen to me for you know an hour and a half. That's going to be um, painful. But it will be lovely, and we're, we'll we'll ask near the date. I think we've got a a link to invite people to register yep. to be informed. Be in the notes below. Um, if you do register, we will hit a gentle reminder to you on the seventh of February. And then it'll be followed up on the 8th of February with a yep. further um, uh, link, which will allow you that day to purchase. And, and we're hoping if we can ask all our uh, friends out there, if we can all buy um, at the same time, we, we're going to put it on sale on the first day um, to see, can we um, hit one of those coveted Amazon um, bestseller segments? Um, and yeah, you know, shout out about it. But um if you if you look in the link, we should have a register your interest and 7th and 8th of February. And hopefully we may try and say to everyone, if you all buy in a Kindle version, uh, we will, uh, if you cover the cost of the postage, which will be about a quid, we'll send you out a hard copy. And yeah. a Kindle is going to be, what, about 99 pence? It'll be 99p like on Kindle. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, can you pass on the link to family, friends, loved ones, unloved ones, whoever it may be, and let's, you know, just spam everyone and see... Can can we get it to the top of the charts and um, have success with it? Yeah. So thank you. No link is in the uh, notes below. Thanks for listening, and if you enjoyed this episode, then please subscribe and remember to follow us on social media for more content like this.